G'day viewers. Well, I was sorting out a pile of um, old electric motors and compressors and things, and I came across this. It's a Crompton Parkinson Repulsion Star induction motor. And these are very special type of electric motor because when they start up, they basically they start as a regular universal motor like that vacuum motor there, and once they get up to their full speed, they then retract the brushes and become a fixed squirrel cage induction motor. And so I'll just get this uh, cover off the back. And so there's the inside of it. So there's there's four of these brushes here, one there, one there, one un and then two underneath. And so when it spins up to speed, it's, oh sorry, when it starts up, it's putting current into this, the armature. And then when it gets up to speed, it then retracts these brushes. And then basically that armature then just becomes a squirrel cage. Uh, just basically, like I said before, a fixed squirrel cage induction motor. I'll take the end bell off and we'll have a look inside, take the state, the rotor out, sorry, and I'll show you how it actually works. Sorry for that, it was very seized, but I've eventually managed to get it free. So there's... Looks like it says Volvo, except that's actually the part number, S70AA, sorry, 70. So that must be the part number for this. It's got a sleeve bearing inside. And here's the armature, which I will very carefully slot out without damaging anything. This smells horrible too, it must have been a rat or something living inside it. No, we're still locked in by something. Oh, I see there's a couple more end bolts on the side of it all. Yeah, there must be a couple of end bolts on the side. Sorry, the camera's given a bit of grief. So I'll take those off and then that'll probably slide the whole brush. I didn't realise the whole brush mechanism comes out with the rotor as well. There we go, there's two through bolts at the back that are actually holding this uh, brush assembly on. So hopefully I can remove the rotor. And there it is. It's one very heavy piece of uh, machinery, very nicely made. And the way it works, it's, whoops, sorry. Camera's been a bit difficult. Sorry, I'm not very good with our camera stands. I generally just hold the camera. But the way it works is it's got two centri it's got two centrifugal um sorry, centrifugal um it's got basically a clutch and these two weights on here throw out when it gets to speed. And if you can see that moving inside, that's what pushes down on a brush assembly. And is what retracts the brushes once it gets up to speed. It's actually very different because usually the whole block pivots back, but in this case it's just the the brush blocks on the end. But it's a very genius uh, way of it's very genius the way these motors work. So basically, if I've got it right, and if you can see, when it gets up, it's actually pulling on this mechanism here when I push on the brush. That's basically what it's doing when it gets up to its full speed. It's a very genius uh, piece of equipment. Let's take that off. I'm also planning on getting this rewound. The stator is very uh, corroded. It's actually a two pole, not a four pole. There's one, two um, sets of windings. And the interesting thing was, is when I got it, these brushes weren't actually connected up. It was just the stator winding. And you could hear it humming, but it wouldn't actually do anything. So, some, well, 
yeah, I took the cable off because I knew it um, was, uh, was non-functional. But hopefully I can get it rewound cheap enough and get it to run again. Because motors like this are actually becoming worth a fair bit of money now. So, that's basically how a um, repulsion start electric motor works. And I'll zoom in on that. There's the plate. You can pause that if you want. It's Crompton Parkinson, made in England. Um, it's quarter horsepower, uh, 1425 RPM, 220 to 230 volts, 2.5 amps. Uh, single phase, obviously. Yeah, single phase. And it's, yeah, rating is continuous. Uh, so, yeah, that's basically a very old repulsion start induction motor so thanks for watching